Hey guys, my name is Timster from Tim Foolery Gaming, and we're here with another box opening with Power Rangers Legacy Power Morpher from the original MMPR movie. This is something I bought recently because if you saw my last box opening, you saw I got the Red Ranger helmet from the newest movie, and I figured, why not get the Red Ranger Morpher from the original movie? I know it doesn't really go well together, but eh, it is what it is. I thought this was kind of cool, and I'm going to show you guys why I thought it was cool. To start off, let's check out the box. Uh, looks pretty decent, I have to say. I mean, with the original box for the original Legacy Morpher when it first came out. Uh, get it in camera, Tim. <laughs> uh, anyway, the original Legacy Morpher had like a green box that tried to emphasize like the, I guess, morphing grid or how the how they thought Power Rangers worked. But this one has a more silver, black, gray design to it. And it looks pretty nice for the design. Even shows all six Rangers, though I, I as a huge fan of Power Rangers, I wish they included, uh, I know it's for the movie and everything, but I kind of wish they had like a silhouette or something of the Green Ranger like right here to show all seven Rangers from seasons one through three, but yeah, it's whatever. It's still a pretty good legacy box, I have to say. And let's see if we turn it to the side. It actually shows the entire story for the movie right here. There you go. Don't waste an hour and a half watching the movie. Just read this text right here. <laughs> now I'd actually go ahead and, and uh, I'd recommend watching the movie just for nostalgia purposes. And because the original movie actually wasn't that bad. And on the back here it shows basically what you're getting in this box. Plays a theme with lights and sounds. And with the original Legacy Morpher, that came with five coins. The Mastodon, Pterodactyl, Triceratops, Sabertooth Tiger, Tyrannosaurus. This one, unfortunately, only comes with a Tyrannosaurus and the Tribal Coin right here. This one was not included with the original Legacy Morpher. So it's pretty cool we get it with this. And it does make sense why we get the Tyrannosaurus Coin. However, what I have to say doesn't make sense is we don't get the, the Ninjetti coins that should have came with this. There's no ape, bear, wolf, crane, or frog coin that comes with the individual morphers themselves. You'd have to get that from a separate pack. But let's keep turning the box, see what else it has in store. Sounds like my cat's yelling at me from the, from the other side of the door there. Oh well. And if you read right here, actually this part's kind of cool. It tells you more about the ranger this morpher belongs to. And it looks like it's talking about Rocky, the second Red Ranger. Was never a fan of Rocky, I have to admit, but shows off his details there. The Ape Ninjas or Power Scope. Wow. Even includes that. That's cool. Uh, but yeah, I was more of a fan of Jason, the original Red Ranger, over Rocky, but that's just my preference. And then you can see the Morpher right in the middle as well as the two coins. And you know what? I'm going to do like a side-by-side -side comparison at least within the box of how the coins look. Like those coins right there look okay, but let's go ahead and do a side-by-side -side comparison of that Tyrannosaurus coin. Let's get a better view of it. Right here with the original Legacy Morpher coin. Wow, actually I take that back. The coin this Morpher comes with actually looks shinier than the coin a Legacy Morpher came with. That's kind of cool. If it's true, then that would actually be kind of cool because they did release, I forgot what year, 2017, I think. They released a whole set of uh, original Legacy Morpher coins that all look similar to this, if not this exact look. And those were a lot more golden, a lot more shinier than the Lexi coins the Lexi Morphers came with. So that will be cool if, this, if that's what's included with this. You know what, enough of my rambling. Let's go ahead, open the box, see what it comes with. See, all, see it in all of its shiny glory. If, if I were a superhero, tape would be my weakness. All right, so taking it out of the box, we get this. The coins do look golden and shiny, so that's pretty nice. If anything, I would say maybe these were based on the shinier coins or Maybe the shinier coins were based on these, I don't know. 
But the fact that they're golden, like more golden and more shiny than the other ones, I, I think I like this a whole lot more. Plus the Morpher itself looks a lot more shinier, a lot more chrome. And with the belt buckle up here, the original Lexi Morphers came with black uh, belt holders. This one is red because Red Ranger. So I think that's pretty cool on its own. Right, now let's take off the plastic and actually compare Morphers. Okay, so after unboxing the Morpher and the coins and everything, here's the Morpher itself. And wow, is that shiny. You can almost see me in the reflection. Oh, there I am. <laughs> Yeah, this is actually kind of cool how chromey and shiny it looks, and just how red it looks. Yeah, not bad at all. Let's flip over on the back. Oh, nice! We actually do get the Z on the back. For those who are unaware of the origins of Power Rangers, that symbol actually represented the Zoo Ranger look from... At least I'm pronouncing it right. I don't think I am. But, uh, look up Kyoryu Sentai Zoo Ranger, and that's a Japanese version that, uh, first season of Power Rangers came from and that is actually supposed to represent that Z for that series but fans like to think it also represents Zordon so that's nice also right up here you know what? instead of explaining some things here here is the Legacy Morpher when it was first released it has seen some wear tear some use all that horrible stuff but now if you look up here where the stickers are it shows blue pink red yellow and black that obviously was supposed to represent the ranger colors, whereas up here, it just represents red for, well, the solitary red ranger color. So I think that's pretty cool. The only thing is this appears to be more golden slash yellow than this does. But at the same time, it's not bad either. Now let's look at them at base volume, or rather, let's look at their base themselves. Uh, it's hard to say which one I like better as you can see right here it shows power rangers down here on this it doesn't say that it's just a red circle i kind of wish it did say power rangers but at the same time i understand it's the movie version which you know didn't have that but i like the shinier look all that much and as you can see here there is some a <laughs> uh, little tiny bit of uh usage yeah i'm not sure what's going on with the chrome there I guess it just has some spots from being exposed to oxygen, which has me worried about this one, but, ah, oh well. But anyway, that's that for the Legacy Morpher. Now, let's try turning this on to see how it sounds. There is a switch back here after pulling down the handle. We turn it on. Nice! It has the beeper sound, or the communicator sound. Communicator, communicator sound. <laughs> Now let's see what happens if we open it up. Nice. Keep it held down, you get that awesome rocking tone. Now if we press it again. Just to compare it to the original Morpher, let's see. Bring this into view. Let's put this here for now. So I want to compare the new one to this older one. And let's see. Ooh, that was a delay. Well, let's try again, I missed it up. <laughs> Has the same sound, though the quality is a little bit different. I'm not sure if it's the batteries or if it's the chip, but it's definitely wearing down a bit. Nope, that one has the same amount of lights for the Morpher, or at least the uh, lightning bolt for the transformation part, so that's, that's still pretty cool. Overall, I do like this Morpher. Make sure it's off. It is not off. Definitely want to save battery and stuff. But yeah, it looks pretty nice, I have to admit. Nice and shiny, and I honestly just like it. <laughs> Alright, let's close it up for now and put it away just for a second. Now, we are going to compare coins for real. This is the one that came with the Red Ranger movie Morpher, the new one we're doing this video on. This one came with the original Legacy Morpher, and as you can see right here, this one, actually, in terms of look, this one wins my favor. In terms of actual feel, this one wins. For some reason, this coin feels a lot lighter than this one does, and I'm not sure why. Let's flip it over on the back. Has the same Power Rangers logo, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, and I love it. 
Though, I think it's because this one feels a, lot, a little more hollow, maybe to uh, save on costs or something, I don't know. But this one definitely wins my favor, just because of the look alone, because it's so shiny. I wish these were shinier. I don't know why they didn't do that originally. But that's still pretty nice overall. And of course, the Movie Morpher came with this little coin right here. If we flip it over on the back, also says Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Pretty nice. And basically, it's just a tribal coin representing all the uh, all the Zords the Power Rangers use. You can see Trans or, yeah, the Transaurus on the top, Mastodon bottom right, Sabretooth right up here, Pterodactyl on the side here. And Triceratops bottom left. It's very hard to see, but right there. Focus. And I guess my camera's not focusing. Oh, well. But yeah, I'm not sure why the movie Legacy Morpher came with this coin and not the Ninjetti coin. That's something that bothered me and kind of stopped me from buying the Morpher in the first place. But they do sell the Ninjetti coins in a separate package. All five. They don't include the White Ranger Ninjetti coin because the White Ranger movie Morpher came with it. And I'm not sure why the other Morphers didn't, but at least we get the Ape coin with this. And on the back it shows Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie! Hold on a second. Okay, comparing the new coin with the Ape coin. Flip it over on the back. Yeah, the Ape coin has the movie. The one that came with the Legacy Morpher does not. That is definitely strange. But yeah, there's a pack of five coins that the Ninjetti coins come in. They don't have really the golden color the Legacy Morpher comes with. But still, it's not bad at all. I think I picked up mine for like $20 at Toys R Us. It was one of the last purchases I made. But it's still kind of weird it has to come separately. I don't, I don't understand that. But yeah, if you get the Legacy Morpher of any color and you need the Jetty coins, you can very easily pick them up. Alright, so after reviewing the coin, we do have the holster the Morpher comes in. And... Well, I gotta admit, that does look pretty awesome in terms of how the Movie Morpher does look in the movie. How many times can I say movie? <laughs> uh, there is one flaw I've noticed with these holsters. The original Lexi Morpher and any other Morphers you get in the Lexi series all have this common problem. There's a gap right there between the back and the Morpher itself. You cannot push this in any more than what it already is. And basically, if you're walking around somewhere with this attached in this formation, the Morpher will fall out and there's a chance it will get dented, scratched, ruined, whatever. So I wouldn't recommend walking out or around while it's in this form. However, there is a cooler thing you can do with the Morpher itself. And here we go. This is basically the Lexi Morpher and its stored format. When it's like this, you have less of a chance of it falling out, but I would still recommend you be very careful. It can still fall out if you're running or jogging or anything like that. So if you have it stored like this, just make sure you hold on to it, make sure it's nice and tight. And in fact, I wouldn't even recommend running around or doing anything like with heavy uh, physical activity. If you have to wear this, just be cautious. That's all I can say. Wear it at a convention, walk, check on it frequently, and do note because of how much it weighs, because it is die cast metal, like, yeah, it's kind of drooping down if I hold it like this. It's made of die cast metal, so there's going to be weight in the front of your pants if you, you know, do decide to use it on your belt. Uh, it might make your pants sag down a bit or your belt sag down a bit, your waist area, basically, so be careful about that. And... Otherwise, it is pretty nice. I do like this. I only spent... I admit, I spent $40 on this. But it was priced down from 60 So it came at not a terrible discount. Not really a great one either. But still, I didn't pay full price for it. And I do love it. Now, there's only one real way we can end this video. I think I've talked about everything I possibly could. I like the Morpher. It's nice and shiny. The coins are equally as shiny. So let's put them all together. For like a good comparison, let's move down the camera a bit. So right there is the original Legacy Morpher that came out a few years ago. I bought this like the day it was released. 
to the side of that is the Red Ranger Movie Edition Morpher with the Ninjetti coin that came with the five Ninjetti coin set. And just to kind of get them in the shot too, if we can. And it's not going to be perfect. And if we put the Tyrannosaurus coin there, sort of, kind of. Can we? Will it sit? And it fits, so it sits. So overall, I'm not entirely sure which Morpher I like better. I am leaning towards the movie edition Morpher. Where's my hand? There we go. <laughs> Simply because it's so much shinier, it looks so nicer. The only thing that kind of would have made me not recommend it as much is just knowing it does not come with the Ninjetti coins. You have to buy those separately for the for the actual look. But at least it does come with a Tyrannosaurus coin. The only other gripe is the Tyrannosaurus coin is a lot more shiny than the Ninja, the wow than the Ninjetti coin will be. So there's obviously going to be some differences, but at the same time. It's not enough for me to say I absolutely hate it or anything like that. But just because I can, I'm going to show off one last thing. Boo! Yeah, there we go. I did, in fact, get Tommy's Morpher. That one comes with the Dragon Coin you see in front of you and the White Tiger Coin. They do look exactly like the original Legacy Morpher coins. Like, same shade and color and everything. But still... I like it. So right now, I am at three Legacy Morphers. And I'm honestly happy with the ones I got. I was planning on getting the white Legacy Morpher coin for the movie, but... I don't know. I'm, I was never a huge white Ranger fan. I was more of a green Ranger, then I leaned towards more red, and... Yeah, so I'm happy. <laughs> I'm happy with what I got. And I think I definitely love the toy. It, like I said, it cost me $40, but it's the last purchase I got from Walmart. You can very easily buy this on Amazon. I don't know who exactly would sell it or what a reliable seller would be, but they're up there as well as the Ninjetti coins, the new shinier regular power coins, and all that junk. So with that, that is my unboxing for the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Legacy Morphin for, for the movie. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If there's anything I could have done in this video or anything different or anything you guys wish I showed off that I didn't or anything more I should have talked about that I didn't, let me know in the comments down below. If you like these kind of videos, let me know and I will be more than happy to do more unboxing videos in the future. So with that, I think we're done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I really hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next one. My name's Tipster from Tipfluid Gaming and we will see you later.